Hey guys, welcome to Japan and the Japan Mobility Show. And Tommy and I are here to show you the latest and greatest new cars that have been unveiled. And Tommy, every year there is a star of an auto show. And I think we found this year's star. And we're going to show it to you in a second. It's not, of course, that, is it? No, it isn't. But we all thought that Mazda was going to reveal... Yeah, let's walk this way. ...a new Miata because all signs point here at the booth that there's going to be some Miata new. So, of course, we had the NA Miata over here. We see the... ND Miata, but the real news is actually over there behind that wall, and we'll show you that in a second, the return of a legend. But um, yeah, this is our first time here at, in Japan at the, the Tokyo Auto Show, and this is an absolute madhouse here. I've never seen more journalists at any show. You know, we go to New York, we go to Detroit, we go to LA. I mean, Tommy, this can't be all the journalists. There's like 130 million people that live in Japan and they all seem to be here as automotive journalists. I'm not joking. It's pretty unbelievable. But really this is the star of the show. Oh, so there it is. Yeah, look at that. We thought it was going to be an electric Miata, uh, but it turns out it's not. Oh, that is just a gorgeous car. Almost looks like a Ferrari, Dad. What we have there is the new Mazda Iconic SP. And this is a rotary-powered sports car Hybrid. from Mazda. Hybrid rotary sports car, a two-rotor design. And in this video, we're going to tell you how it works and tell you everything we know about this new iconic SP. Oh, look at those doors. <laughs> I don't know if that'll make it into production, but oh my God. So what we're looking at, at least in my mind, Tommy, is the next generation, of course, the iconic Mazda RX-7, uh, because this is, uh, what, 10 inches longer than a Miata, certainly not a convertible. Yeah, wow. it's also 800 pounds heavier. It comes in at 3,197 pounds. But let's talk about what powers this vehicle because at the heart of the Iconic SP is a two-rotor design. So it's a rotary engine, of course, a two-rotor design, but the rotor doesn't actually power the wheels. What does it power instead, Dan? Uh, it powers uh, an electric motor which then powers the wheels. Now, I don't know if it's front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. The details are, you know, a little bit thin right now, but I'm guessing it's rear wheel drive. It better be, Dad. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you like? What do you think of those pop-up headlights? How it's, cool is that? It's cool. You know, we haven't seen pop-ups since really the FD RX-7. Yeah. And of course, forgetting the RX-8, of course, but the 365 horsepower is what Mazda is claiming in a still a relatively small package, uh, 3,100 pounds. So I would guess zero to 16, what, seven or uh, five seconds, six seconds, something somewhere around there. Yeah, let's see if we can walk around and see the back end. Now, you know, I have not usually a whiner, but man, getting access here to any vehicle is exceptionally hard. Uh, there's just ropes everywhere keeping people from these things. Uh, it's like they don't want to sell them. They just want to display them. Well, that guy got too close and he just got yelled at. <laughs> so there you get a terrible view of the interior. Yeah, you can see the interior. It's blue, like almost like a velvet blue, huh? And then you got the miner there ready to jump on that guy. You see him? Can you show the taillights? No, we can't. Not really. I maybe, mean, it's... Maybe if you come over here, we can get a better angle at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could show from over here. Of course, it's his Mazda across the back. Oh, very cool. So you got the, the kind of the dual tail lights there. Oh, That's there you a go, beauty. Now. now we can kind of get a better look at the, a really uh, good shot of that guy's bottom there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of Japanese <laughs> bottoms here. It really has a very much of an iconic um, Coke bottle shape. I believe this color is viola red. Um, which is brighter than the sole crystal metallic that we've really seen from other Mazda products in the past. So you look. I'm in love, dude. I'm completely in love with that. Here's, here's the thing I'm curious about though, right? That if this is a rotary, rotary powered hybrid, yeah. um, Mazda says you can drive it on both gasoline right. and electricity. Yep. They say that you will be able to plug it in. Yep. Um, we don't have a EV range. Here we go, that's a good side profile shot there. Yeah, I like the wheels too. Uh, they're very aero looking. Uh, you can see the uh, slotted and drilled rotors yep. and the discs. Uh, uh, I like the little pop-up headlights. Notice that the headlight pops up with the little cover. It doesn't reveal headlights, it pops up the little light. We also have these little little tiny, tiny uh, camera mirrors there, which I, I don't think would see production. Well, what's beautiful about it is just the shape. I mean, it looks like something that was designed by an Italian design house, uh, but it's got that kind of flowing, very uh, simple arrow. shape. Yeah. Yeah, very, very simple shape. I'm really impressed with that. Um, of course, keep in mind this is the iconic, well, according to Mazda, SP concept. So a lot of this will not make it into projection if they do decide to build it, right? Because uh, 
concept cars are always a little bit more um, idealism than reality. So I've got 164.6 inches long, 82.8 inches wide, and 45.2 inches high. Yeah. Um, 400 pounds heavier than the uh, FD RX-7. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that viola red is just gorgeous. Let's walk around the front of it. Yeah, let's see. Can get so a that's shot. Yeah. Let's keep going. This is pretty crazy here. Yeah. Well, this is definitely the star of the show, Tommy. I think. Let's give him a head-on shot. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Even, even the dash uh, pinnacle is really beautiful. It's really, really nice. And then you've got the illuminated Mazda logo in the front yeah. there. The other problem, of course, is that it sits way too low. Uh, you, you almost need a front lift on this thing to get over your driveway, you know? Yep. Because it's so low to the ground. Those tires, of course, aren't going to make production right. They just stick out way too far. I see a lot of, like, Ferrari Roma in this design. I do, yeah, a lot of Roma. I wish that they would actually build a car like this. I think that's always been the frustration that of anybody who's seen a gorgeous car and fallen in love with it at the auto show. You see this thing and you're like, just take my money. Please take my money and build it this way. But you know, in my head, I'm already seeing it in production form, and it's still going to be gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. Love the design. Look at those doors. Yeah. They swing up kind of like an Aston Martin. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, how about money? How much do you think something like this is going to cost? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would guess probably starting in like the mid-60s. Right, we have a journalist saying they'll never make it. Why don't you go make it? Same as the Vision, R, the Vision RX yeah. in uh, 2019. You think it's just a, you think it's just a, a marketing uh, just exercise? The, just the best effing marketing exercise. Exercise, yeah? Just, just gorgeous. Oh, I know. I think everybody here has decided this is definitely the star of the show. You seen the rear end? I know that it's gorgeous, but they yeah. could make it. You just put regular doors on it, you know? It's not that far from production. Regular rear mirrors. Like roadster. Yeah. Platform, you know? Oh, it would sell. Put that legendary, yeah. the new straight six in it. Yeah, out of the, uh, out of the uh, what, CX-90? Yeah, that would be really cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, what are you doing, Tommy? You taking a picture taking of it already? Taking a picture, yeah. Uh, you take a picture of it? Try to get the, get the doors, get the get open the, doors. the door shot Well, guys, there. let us know in the comments below. We'll get out of here. It's very busy. Yeah, it's crazy. What, what you think, uh, is this something the Mazda should be uh, building? Look, Mazda is not exactly at the forefront of electrification are they tommy no they're they're a little little behind i think it's fair to say but um you know this is a, a cool way to bring electrification into the lineup is with a twin rotor rotary it's, yeah. it's hard to beat that huh yeah let's keep going and we'll show you uh, uh there's a lot more cars here uh and a lot more people uh at the show uh, mercedes has their new electric G-Wagon. Oh, look at all those little tiny cars, Tommy. Oh, that's How cool, cool is that? All the little models. Yeah. How cool is that? A whole wall of little tiny models. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Think they're all Mazdas? No. They're all Japanese. Oh, no. no that's, that's a Defender. Oh, look. That's a Hot Wheel. That's, that's pretty cool. It's a lot of... Um, all right. Well, guys, uh, we're going to have a lot more coverage uh, from uh, Japan, uh, including uh, some really cool new Toyota stuff. Uh, so head on over to where, Tommy? AllTFL.com if you yeah. want to see all the stuff coming from Japan. But I think you saw the coolest car here by far. Uh, and thanks for joining us, and we'll see you at the next video. Ciao.